Good morning, South Africa. This is the Daily News Wrap for Monday, the 5th of July, 2021. My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com. In our top story, former President Jacob Zuma has greeted thousands of supporters who flocked to Nkandla in KwaZulu-Natal on Sunday, saying that the judges at the Constitutional Court are conspiring against him with State Capture Commission head Raymond Zondo. Zuma addressed the nation from Kandla that evening, with police having been deployed to manage the extreme floating of lockdown protocols on the go ahead of his address. Zuma said that the Constitutional Court had repeatedly infringed on his rights, leaving him no choice but to fail to attend his hearing or submit testimony. South African Police Services spokesman Brigadier Naido said in a statement on Sunday evening that police presence will be increased due to the influx of ANC supporters who floated lockdown regulations on social distancing and gatherings by heading to Nkanla to support Zuma. Meanwhile, as Rao Teng grapples with the third wave of COVID-19, hospitals are so overwhelmed that the medical personnel said that people are dying in private cars outside the emergency units. This week, a matron from the hospital spoke to IOL about how the current situation was different from the last two waves, how mobile cold rooms now come into the back of the hospital to collect the dead because the mortuaries are full. She told the publication that the dead aren't just counted in the wards, but also in the hospital car packs. More of this on the SouthAfrican.com. In other news, Acting Health Minister Mamoloko Kubai Ngubani has described the approval of the Sinovac vaccine for use in South Africa as a turning point and much-needed relief to the country's lagging vaccination rollout program. The South African Health Products Regulatory Authority, SAPRA, made the announcement on Saturday, 3rd July. The acting health minister said that the authorization with conditions is based on the safety, quality and efficacy data submitted by the vaccine manufacturers to SAPRA between 22nd March 2021 and 22nd June 2021. And that's all the news you need to know today from the South African. Subscribe to so much more of this audio bulletin straight to your mobile device. For more of these stories and other more, please visit thesouthafrican.com. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com.